But our countdown closer says, you know what? He likes both Disney and PayPal for portfolio uh, bumps here. Auden Global Asset Management CEO Paul Feinstein joining me now. Paul, both of these names. Okay, make your case. <laughs> Paul, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, make your case for PayPal and Disney. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, great seeing you. Thanks, uh, Liz. You know, listen, both have been beaten up. You know, Disney obviously is a reopening trade. I think uh, revenues will come in line. We do actually uh, expect, you know, as uh, the pandemic uh, kind of, you know, shows us a little bit more clarity, I think, uh, you know, Disney is a good place to have. And obviously it's a reopening trade and I think they'll have some great success. PayPal, again, is uh, one of those stocks that, you know, it's. it also depends on guidance, guidance from the companies. It's not necessarily whether, you know, top line or bottom line growth uh, mm -hmm. meet or see the expectations, but it also comes down to guidance. And I think PayPal will miss, but I think, you know, I still think it's a strong stock. And I think it's because basically what they've done in the crypto space and what they've done with Venmo, I think it still makes it a strong case to have a portfolio. Uh, for us, we've used this also opportunity at the tail end of the year to kind of take some of the risk off the table. So we've done that across the book. And I think you're seeing that across uh, a lot of portfolios. You know, right now, money managers have been overweight because these stocks have had great rises. And I think it is time to take some cash off the table and kind of yeah. see what happens yeah. there. Uh, well, for the beginning of the new year. It makes sense. I mean, that, that is what you're supposed to do is make sure that you at least book some profits. That said, you like some of the chip makers at President Biden right now in Baltimore talking about the supply chain. When do you foresee these names really getting the benefit of a clearing of the supply chain blockages? You know, both, you know, we trade uh, in, in NVIDIA and AMD, as you, as you well, well, well aware of. And, you know, listen, they're, they're, both, they're both industry leaders, you know, for many different reasons. You have the AMD signing a deal with uh, Facebook and Microsoft development of new, uh, new chip, te chip technology for their, their core computing. So I think they're really well positioned to, uh, to lead in 2022. And NVIDIA, again, is one of those companies that, have, you know, have a three to five year window on all their competition. Mm -hmm. I think with the onset with AI, just all so uh, coming online, it, it's a strong leader. So, you know, yes, we've had a chain, you know, supply chain issues. And I think that any of this help and guidance will help just uh, the markets understand a little bit. Yep. You want to go best in class. Paul Feinstein, thank you very much, folks.